Welcome back everyone to Heart Renderings. I hope you're enjoying the stories. I am recording this with a little rain outside. I hope the background doesn't bother you. Enjoy the story. Today's prompt is In Search of Impossible Light. I started out in a tunnel, a place I'm quite familiar with, really from many journeys to the lower world. I'm on a quest to a place of impossible light and what that could mean really. I jump on my dolphin power animal and we fly through my water flume, which is like an e-ride at Disney. I ask to be taken to a place of impossible light. We exit the tunnel and meet up with more power animals and they look at me strangely. This is not uncommon as they all know me well and often I ask for quests like this. They, my beloved buddies, gather around me and ask in unison, you want to go where? A place of impossible light? Yes, please, is my answer. And where would that be? In unison, like a choir of angelic animals, was the answer, inside you. And whatever would make you think otherwise. Great, I say. Not so helpful. I can't see it. Of course you can't. It's impossible. However, it's our job to make the seemingly impossible possible. I say, okay, how do we go about this? They all circled around and said, we're going to pull a big part of your soul out for you to look at deeply. And when we do, you'll be amazed. Crap, I say, you think this is a good idea? Well, you asked to see this, shall we begin? You're going to remember me, right? Of course, you silly girl. Okay, then, let's begin. So I stood in the center of the circle of many of my power animals that I love with my whole heart. They created a fire and started chanting something I didn't recognize. And then I started feeling a change in my body, like my assemblage points loosening the fiber of my being shaking and getting lighter. The next thing I knew, I'm looking at myself, well, part of myself, and while I wasn't totally surprised, I was overwhelmed. I was impossible light, beaming out into the universe as if the creator reached down and ran this light of creation through my body. I stood there in awe and understood how and why this is called impossible light. It was love personified. After a few moments, I walked into myself again and thanked everyone for the experience and came home glowing. The end. Thank you for listening. Please tell your friends.